Hey guys, so today I'm going to be cleaning my hamster potatoes cage. It's a very big cage, so it's going to take a while, but I've decided to film it so that you guys can see how I clean her cage. So the first thing that you're going to do when you're cleaning out your cage is to take out your toys so that there is just an empty space and nothing in your way while you're cleaning. But if your hamster is in one of the toys, like sleeping in a hideout, then don't take it out because it can cause stress to your hamster. Alright, so once you're done taking out all the toys, then it's time to take out the bedding spots that have pee in them and, um, food. Just don't take out all the bedding because that can also cause stress to your hamster. Also, when you're cleaning the cage, you'll come across some pee marks on the bottom that might not come off with just wiping it. So what you can do is you can get vinegar and water, mix it together in a spray bottle, and then you can just spray it on there. And then take a Kleenex or something and wipe it, and it will come right off. It's also pet safe, so... So when you are done cleaning out the bedding, you can replace that bedding with new bedding, new and fresh clean bedding. I am using this white paper based bedding. When your bedding is placed in the cage, then um, if you have some timothy hay, it's nice to just chop some of that up and then add it to the bedding mixture. Adding hay to the bedding um, helps build up strong burrows. It gives your hamster nutrients from the hay and also makes it more natural for the hamster. Since hamsters shouldn't really be domesticated, they should be in the wild. Um, it's nicer to have a more natural type of cage. Alright, so once the bedding mixture is all placed, then you can start adding in noise again.
So before I cleaned Potato's cage, it had kind of like a carnival theme with all bright colors. But for this theme, I'm going to go with like a natural look because I think it looks pretty cool. And it's really fun to make different themes for your hamster's cage because you can do literally anything. So this is Potato's wheel currently, it's a 6 inch silent spinner and I think I am going to change it into a different size that's bigger just to see how she does with it. So right now I'm just wiping off the pee. And this is the wheel that I'm going to change to, it's an 11 inch and I'm just going to see if she can like run on it. Because apparently the bigger the wheel, um, the better it is for Robos. So I'm just going to give it a little twist to make sure that it's securely in the bedding. And now I'm going to work on her sand bath. It's currently a disaster, so I'm just going to sift out all the bedding. So now that it's nice and clean, I can put it in the cage. Alright guys, so this is what Potato's cage looks like so far. Now I just gotta do the finishing touches, which are the water and the food. So I'm gonna pour the water into this rock dish. And for the food, I'm just gonna scatter feed it all around the cage. Alright guys, so this is what the finished cage looks like. I think I did a pretty good job on making the natural look. Just the wheel and the sand bath are different colors, but that's okay. So now I'm going to do a little tour. Um, this section here is Potato's Burrow. So all her tunnels and little food storage is in there. And she's also in there. And that's where my six inches of bedding is. And then right here, we have a bendable bridge. It has a little surprise walnut inside. Um, below it, buried in bedding, is a grass alfalfa tunnel. And then this is a rock hideout. And she has her little food stick right here. Then I put the three coconut shells just in a row. I didn't really know what else to do with them. And in front of them we have her rock water dish. And then, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a little hideout. That she can go in there and it's like glass. So if she goes in there you can see through and see her. Then I have two cardboard chews. And I, um had these two ceramic pots so I just stacked them on top of each other to make a little step stool to the wheel then she has some random cardboard um, paper towel rolls and then back here is her sand bath so yeah Thank mm -hmm. you.